to see me, CEO? Yes, inmate Dunn. Unfortunately, you've been sentenced an additional 30 days in lockup. Huh? Wait, wait. Another 30 days? Yes, sir. This is by order of the governor. <laughs> Figures. Wait, 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 wait. Hold on. How did I get here again? Now look, how many times do we have to go through this inmate? Remember what happened at Target when you threatened to, and I quote, beat everybody's ass up in here, end okay, quote? Okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, but that toilet paper was in my car. And there was no signage saying you could only take one. Well, anyway, with the current quarantine, we had to make some changes in cellmates. Oh, no. <laughs> no, no, no. I have my own cell. Yeah, well, not anymore. You're getting a roommate. <laughs> Man. Who is it? Tasty? No. Red? Absolutely not. Wait. Ian and Mickey? Look, it's a high-profile inmate. Oh, no, please, please, not R. Kelly. Hey, Joe, we got you a roommate. Oh, hell no. It better not be that bitch Carol Baskin. Man, I'm not about to be husband number four. Okay, what's going on? Oh, all right, we got an alert. Let's see what's going on. Hello, Marcus. Congratulations, you've made it through the first month of shelter in place. Oh, they forgot a word, but okay. Okay, we've made it a month. We're all right, we're all right. As a reward for your discipline, we have provided you a gift. It has been left outside your door. Ooh, gifts, I love gifts. Oh, okay. Seems like a pretty good goodie bag. Let's see what we got here. Paper towels, some soap, surface cleaner, uh, and some, oh yeah, I can use all of this stuff. Nice. Okay, there's definitely some stuff I can use to clean my apartment. That's nice. Um, hopefully these will make you more comfortable during the next 30 days of quarantine. <sighs> I don't know if I can do another 30 days. Um, Circle, open up a private message with Lori. Hey, Lori, exclamation mark, what's up, period, send message. Oh, okay, she was, okay. Not much online suit shopping. <laughs> what about you? Uh, <laughs> uh, circle, open up a message. Uh, we've been extended for another 30 days, question mark. How, question mark. Crying face emoji. Send message. Uh. <laughs> okay, girl. Oh, oh, hello. There's a pandemic going on. I thought I was doing you a favor. You know your broke ass can't go anywhere, even if you were allowed. Oh no, she did it. <laughs> okay, circle. Open up a message. I'm not broke, exclamation mark. Cause see why you were running to the barber to get a lineup, comma. I was running to the bank, period. Cashing a Trump check, period. Donald Trump, period. All caps, I am very rich, exclamation mark. Send that message. I know she did it. She got a lot of nerve. Okay. Well, you won't be running anywhere if I have anything to say about it. As a matter of fact, how about another 30 days? Oh, no, 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 no. Circle, open up another message. You can't do that, exclamation mark. I'm leaving with or without your permission. Send that message. <laughs> Got a mind. What? You be, j you better get your ass back in the house before I whoop your MF and Okay, we, we riding like that. Okay, you know what? You're my mama, Lori. You can't tell me what to do. Oh. What was that? Do you have something to say? How'd she hear me? What? How'd she hear me? Uh, circle? Open up another message. No, period, ma'am, period. Send message. Wow. Okay. Cool. 
Yeah, you leave. I I'll stay here. I don't got nowhere to go anyway. That's fine. Yeah. Go on and leave. That's fine. Ooh. Circle. <laughs> I gotta stop drinking. Oh. Hey there, cool cats and kittens. It's me, Trent Rashad. Hey, and I'm Marcus Drew Steele, and welcome to Cold Pop. The Quarantine Chronicles. Yes, yes. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good, I'm good. How are you living up there in Skokie? I am not, I'm gonna say, not you said up there already. <laughs> we ain't been on there for 2.6 seconds and you already being shady. I'm not here for it. I'm doing great. I've been living my quarantine fantasy, staying okay. away from everyone and minding my own business and getting a lot of stuff done. How about you? Uh, the same, the same. And so I'm doing well. Want to take this time to wish you a happy Cinco de Mayo, brother. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Cheers. 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 Cheers it out on time. There we go. Um, but yeah, my little margarita. Yeah, you know, a little margaritaville um, happening up in here. But I, I think frozen. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, full fledged. If you're going to do it right, you know. You got me beat. <laughs> come on. If you're going to do it right, you got to go all the way. So, <laughs> there's been so much going on in the world of like pop culture. You would think because we are sheltering in place and that things have started to die down, that, you know, there wouldn't be that much to talk about. But there's so much going on. And so, wanted to get into that. We definitely will. But I'm really excited that we're doing this. I am too. I am too. We've been on so okay so for everybody watching we've been we've not necessarily been on a hiatus we've been evolving we've been Certainly. evolving as a podcast so not only are we doing pod we will be doing podcasts again but we wanted to make yeah. sure that we created some more content and so we got a lot of good feedback from our for the culture series and yeah. so i'm pretty proud of that yeah so just want to reiterate definitely we have not stopped the podcast yes is the elephant heavy Oh, I'm coming back, baby. Oh, we coming back, baby. <laughs> oh, we coming right. back, baby. Well, we're definitely going to cover some pop culture stuff, but I thought it was also important to uh, kind of create some information sharing out there and making sure yeah. that a lot, a lot, I've seen a lot of people out on the streets um, kind of interpreting all of the guidelines and everything in their own way. Um, especially when it comes to face coverings and masks. Yes. You know, some of y'all yeah. are out here trick or treating. Okay. <laughs> so you prank out on full on Halloween. I let me tell you, I've seen Halloween masks, I've seen bandanas, I've, I've seen like, actual masks, I've seen uh the little robber mask that people yeah. got on. <laughs> y'all some of y'all out here playing for 10. Category um, is creativity. <laughs> in terms of in terms of protection. And so um, we thought it was important to do some information sharing. And with that, we have a, a new segment titled Mask for Mask. I want you to check it out. Yes. Hey there. Now many areas of the world today are strongly suggesting or mandating the wearing of masks or face coverings when social distancing is not possible. Now with these new guidelines in place, it is important that you are prepared and supplied with just the right mask for you. That's why we are bringing you today's segment titled Mask for Mask. Now listen, I know you've seen all the cool variations and designs on IG. I've seen them too. But the most important thing is making sure that you have something on. Don't wait until your cute mask arrives in the mail. You can literally make your own mask out of a number of household supplies. Find a handkerchief or a cotton t-shirt and make sure to cover your nose and mouth when going outside. Be sure to eliminate any large gaps that expose that target area. Another important thing is the care and upkeep of your mask. Be sure to keep it clean. While disposable masks can be thrown away, cloth masks should be washed often either in the sink or in your washing machine using warm soapy water. Now I already know what you're gonna say, but Trenton, what about surgical and medical masks? Yes, well, there's currently a push for non-medical workers to refrain from using those types of masks because they are in short supply. Those types of masks should be reserved for medical workers who are on our front lines fighting alongside those who've been diagnosed with coronavirus. Now, I can't tell you what to do, but as for me, I'm going to stick to these custom-made, compliant fashion masks that I have here. Now, what will you be wearing? 
Tag us on Instagram with a photo of you and your mask using hashtag Copop M from M. Happy hunting. And as you can see here, I've got on my mask, and this is the one that I've been using. Trent, yours looks pretty cute. Thank you very much. This is a um, this is a custom made piece. Um, got to pick out the fabric myself. So same here. I had mine custom made. Picked out the design. Get into it. Give you a little. <laughs> I can't fantasy. breathe. <laughs> I can't breathe. I gotta take this off. <laughs> giving you some Nubia fantasy. I'm giving you G.I. Joe realness category. Come on. So, but yes, that was a very informative segment. And just remember, again, you want to make sure you're staying at least six feet yes. apart, still social distancing. But if you've got to go out, make sure you take your mask with you. I know here in Illinois, it's become mandatory to have a mask. Yeah, it's become mandatory. Here. And a number, another thing is that there are people that are donating masks and that there are donation centers. So if you are someone who is making masks or making lots of masks, or you have extra things that you want to donate, you can look it up. A number of churches and community centers are taking donations to share masks with um, people who are homeless um, or who just don't have the supplies uh, necessary to create their own. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. So very, very good information. Okay, let's switch gears a little bit and get into some hot topics. Let's do it. So what we've got today, the first topic we've got is a battle of the remixes. Okay, oh. let's talk about this. So I'm sure unless you've been living under a rock, which you haven't been, you've probably heard Meg Thee Stallion and Beyonce's oh, remix yes. to Savage. And you've probably also heard the remix to Say So with Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj. Um, they were both technically released on the same day or maybe like right behind each other. Yeah, I think. like right behind each other, I think. Yeah. I think it was like, and I don't even know if that was planned. I think that that might've been like- By accident. Okay, they put these out like, oh, send. Right, right. Like, let me go ahead and put mine out as well. <laughs> um, what do you think? I think for Megan and Beyonce, I, I mean, we knew it was coming. You know, Megan signed to Rock Nation, what? Almost seven, eight months ago. Um, Probably. That September. Maybe that was September. Kind of they signed to Rock Nation. And so, yeah. um, you know, I mean, we felt it coming. You know, Megan has been talking about that she wanted to have collab with Beyonce. With Beyonce. Beyonce, Beyonce. We saw Beyonce. the picture of her, Beyonce in blue. Um, and so I was like, okay, I'm, I'm just waiting. I'm just waiting for what it was, you know, what it was going to look like and what it was going to be. Um, but the Savage Remix, I absolutely love. Yeah, and it's like a whole different song. It's just, you know, Beyonce just knows what we need. Um, you know, she knows that we were going through a time right now. We're going through a very uncertain time. There's a lot of, you know, people down on their luck right now, not the <laughs> best. And she's just like, you know what? Let me bless y'all. Can I tell me, Can and, and I think that there was a consensus on this, why is she out rap everybody on this song and she's not even a rapper? Like, why was her bars like lit? It's because it is Beyonce. Like, I'm my favorite part is the whole first verse is like my, that my was. like that's my shit. Yeah, but I mean, I, my favorite part is the line about I got this shit from Tina. Uh, yes, that's, that's <laughs> like my favorite. That's. That's where yes. I like, really started hitting. That's the one that got me like up out of my seat. Yes. In my living room dancing. It's definitely, it's definitely a bop. What makes it even more of a bop is that, you know, this is on some like philanthropy shit. Like this is, so they're coming together for their city of Houston, both Beyonce yes. and Megan from Houston. And so the proceeds from this record are going to go to Bread of Life. Yes. which is a organization that is dedicated to helping people um, going through the, uh, the coronavirus pandemic. So like who need food, who need clothing, who need shelter, those types of things. And so all proceeds will go to Bread of Life, which is takes the song to next level and makes me want to support it even more. Absolutely, absolutely. Um, okay, so what do we think about Doja Cat and Nicki Minaj's remix? It was very cute. I really liked it. I mean, the song, itself I really like. I like right. the song I do too. So to begin with. And then um I mean the remix was cute. I I clearly it's not gonna be the same, you know, I think Doja is on she's up and coming a little bit more. I think Megan is a little bit further along in her journey. 
I don't know. I say, okay, so let me stop you. I would have to rebut that. I think Doja is surpassing Megan right now. Really? Doja has a top five hit on the Billboard Hot 200. Megan does not. So Say So has hit number five. So she has a top five hit under her belt. Doja has also been gaining a lot of steam because before quarantine, she was making, uh, and she dropped her album. She was making all of these late night TV show appearances. Say So. The only thing I know from Doja is Say So. Well, but that's what I'm saying. Say So has been like her crossover thing that has like brought her into the spotlight. So I don't know. I think it's very- I think Megan is a little bit further along. Just I think I think it's very interesting that um, Doja and Megan, they're, they're not competing, but it's good yeah. to see them like both rise at the same time. You don't compete when you don't compare. No, I don't do that. No, no so here's what we're not gonna do because Doja's just as dope as Megan. No, this is nice. But no, she's got some dope. Juicy is a hot one. Rules is a hot one. Okay, listen. So. But, but I will say, I do not necessarily, I'm not feeling the remix. I think what it should have been is Nikki should have like spit hard like i'm i nikki don't take this the wrong way she probably will i don't need to see this and she (laughs) listens she doesn't need to sing on any more tracks please stop singing on these tracks all in all i will say i think the savage remix is probably a little bit better than the say so remix but i love the original version of say so i think if nikki had spit like doja did on the second verse of say so and they would have just like paired up like that, I think it would have been a lit hit, but you know, it is what it is. I thought it was cute. Yeah. So. I it was cute. Okay, well, all right, well, let's get into our next segment. You know, y'all been sitting at home. We're what, on like week seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. 87, uh, week 87. That's- week 87. And you know, sometimes you need to get active and you need to get moving. So we got a segment to kind of help get everybody into fighting work from home quarantine shape. We've got a little workout, work from home video. Uh, what, what, what are we calling it? A work from yeah. home workout. Work. Work from home workout. <laughs> so take a look at this and we'll be right back. So we're supposed to be doing a at home workout. Okay, um, sure. Let's do this. All right, so the first thing we're gonna do is a stretch cycle. I do it every workout, it's the first. We're going to stretch out our back. Now that we've got the stretching out of the way, we're going to go run. Usually it's either 10 minutes or a mile and a half or something like that. (sighs) Okay. Here's just a moment. Let me catch my breath. First exercise we're going to do is a one-arm snatch. You're going to do four sets of 10. Now here for my legs down. We're going to move on to a weighted squat. Basically, you can use the same dumbbell, 40 pound dumbbell. We're just gonna squat with it. Um, Four sets, 10 reps. I'm gonna sit down again. Cut the camera, dead ass. And what I usually like to do is on the last one, I'll hold it just to get that really good stretch in there. Get a little leg. Up next, we're gonna do I have no idea where my shirt went. Because these are bands. We're gonna do banded pull downs. So you're gonna take your band, hold it like this, bring it up, and then just gonna pull down on each side. Now I usually try to do 20 of these so then it's 10 on each side. <sighs> oh, these are really good. Tropical. Hmm. Oh. We're still doing this? Um Next thing, dumbbell press. Four sets of 10, you're gonna take your dumbbells, you're gonna put them in, press in and out like this. A dance break to get to. I ain't doing nothing. I'm just shooting a video. No, it's for some, some thanks to upper management, I have miraculously found my shirt. The next thing we're gonna do, single curl. What are we doing? That's a good question. Single arm curls. So basically, it's gonna take a dumbbell, four sets of 10, 10 reps on each side. Hope you guys have gotten some good tips, things like that to use 
while you're in quarantine and working out from home. Ain't nobody working out. They just sitting on their couches, which is what the hell I'm about to do. Appreciate you tuning in and we'll see you next time. Come on, body. Yeah, you know, yeah. Give me Giving you a little little workout tease. Honey, yes, I'm about to join. I'm about to- uh, I've been asking you to come on and let's do these workouts, but y'all sick, y'all say y'all sick of me, so. Ain't nobody doing that. Ain't nobody <laughs> got to do all of that. I'm gonna I'm do my own workout. Well, just know that I post, and I've gotten a lot of comments about this, but every day that I do work out, I post my workout on my Instagram story. And you know, so. It's hard. so follow Marcus Drusen <laughs> if y'all want. Oh, you so nasty. <laughs> Yeah, I'm actually gonna be coming out with my own workout tape, the donkey booty. Oh, okay, got it. <laughs> what, volume one. Who's Pedro's uh, workout? Donkey booty volume one. Yeah, donkey booty. <laughs> so please be on the lookout for that coming spring, summer. Spring, summer, summer, spring, summer, you know, spring September, 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 June. Spring, summer. <laughs> got uh, it. <laughs> but anyway, so, Let's talk a little bit about what's been going on in the news. A number of moments happened in the news this past week. Yeah. Um, Marcus, what's been going on? Let's talk about our old Kentucky home. What's been going on back there? What is not going on in Kentucky? If it ain't one thing, it's always another. I just can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. So basically, a lot of governors are, you know, fighting to either keep their states closed or try to slowly reopen businesses, you know, within their state. And one of the things that they're dealing with is a huge surge in the unemployment rates. And yes. so we have a lot of residents who are filing for unemployment. I think the last time I checked, there was something, what, 30 million people nationwide yes. who had applied, applied for unemployment benefits because they were without a job. I think um, in Kentucky, it's like one in four. Yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. so, I mean, it's a huge number. It's like, a huge number. Or fine for unemployment. Right. So where this gets a little, a little sticky or a little tricky. So the governor of uh, Kentucky, Andy Bashir, he got on a little pet platform on his little podium on Monday and was talking about how you know difficult it was to number one make sure that they're getting all of these unemployment benefits out to those people who've applied. But he's also said that people who are clearly catfishing or setting up fake profiles need to stop. And so then he decided to call out one individual in particular who decided to file an unemployment claim yeah. under the name Tupac Shakur. And so he was like, like I'm this- on blast. Right, he said, like this one, for example, who, Tupac Shakur, this is clearly a fake profile. You all need to stop doing this because it's crowding up the system from other people getting their benefits. Lo and behold, he didn't know that Tupac Shakur actually exists. And is a man who lives in Lexington, Kentucky, who is a cook, whose real name is, was it tu Tupac Malik Shakur? Tupac Malik, he goes by Malik. He goes by Malik, but of course, when you're filing documents, you've got to put your full government name on Yes. It, which is Tupac Malik Shakur. And so he came out and was like, uh, hello, I exist, I'm real, hi, hi, pum bye pumpkin. And I'm gonna need that check. <laughs> and run me that check, that unemployment check. And so then of course, Bish Andy had to come up and apologize because after finding out that obviously Malik was a real individual and not a fake claim, you know, somebody's face was a little cracked. Definitely a little cracked. I thought he handled it well though. Like he did. He, he did. He called personally and apologized. Yes. yes. And then he got back on the next day and was like, Y'all, I said this. I was wrong. My bad. There's actually a person named Tupac. I'm gonna get him his money. I wouldn't be surprised if Tupac didn't get a little extra. And he should. <laughs> and he should. He absolutely should. Since you want to call people names. Right. And you know what? The main, and this is where I know that Andy's got a good team behind him. The main thing with damage control, you've got to own up to what yeah. you've done, honey. <laughs> yeah. Which I think is definitely like in his, that is his brand. Like, Kentucky's very excited about their governor, and he's definitely someone that they are looking to and are very happy with in terms of how he's handling this whole thing. I feel like JB so, and Gavin are doing a good job as well. I think, I mean, I think a lot of governors are. I'll tell you who is not that Las Vegas mayor. No, I tell you who's not um, DeSantis, Ron DeSantis too. But let's oh, okay, let's talk about both of them for a minute. Because number one, 
this uh, Las Vegas mayor. I don't even, we don't even want to give her any attention with the name, but she pretty much said, oh, y'all handle this on your own. Las Vegas mayor could not be worried. She said, y'all need to open it up and y'all need to figure it out. Figure it out. <laughs> she said, figure um, this shit out. Her obsession with Anderson Cooper left me. Mind boggled, like. It left me in tears from laughing just because of how clueless some elected officials are. Anderson was like, uh, so you're campaigning to have businesses reopen, but you're not going to help them figure out how to keep these parameters in place. She said, I don't own a, I don't own a casino. I don't work at a casino. That's so they need to figure it out. That's not me. That's not my judge. <laughs> I, I, I love it. I love the transference of responsibility from- Right, oh, everyone else. And can we also just- can we also just cut off Georgia and Florida because they're getting on my damn nerves too, okay? Yeah. Both of them. I can't. I can't. So yeah, so shout out to Carolyn Goodman in Las Vegas, the mayor of Las Vegas. Oh, no, don't shout out to her. She oh, needs to go sit down. Way to uh way to deflect. <laughs> um so another situation happened, um in a, a very unfortunate situation. Oh yeah. Earlier this week, uh, earlier last week with um, Ashley Ross, who we all know is Miss Minnie from Little Woman Atlanta. Um, she unfortunately passed away at the age of 34. It's just so crazy to me. Mm -hmm. um, she's, she was in a hit, uh, she was in a car accident on Sunday, uh, the 26th, April 26th. Back in April, yeah. yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, later on, almost about 24 hours later, succumb to those injuries uh, from from that car crash, uh, which was, it, it was really hard. It was definitely a shock to me. Not a shock to me I too. Expecting. I mean, of course, someone who's 34, um, not that far off in age from, you know, from us, it's, it's just you, it's not exactly. something that you're expecting. And so um, one of the important things to note is that it was initially reported that it was a hit and run. Mm -hmm which I was like, okay, so what's the next steps? Like, let's figure out who did this. Actually, it was later reported that that was false. That was not true. It was a head-on collision with another car. Uh, the person in the other car was actually treated on site, was went back to the hospital for observations, but was able later, was able to go home a little bit later. But unfortunately for, uh, for Miss Minnie, um, that was not the case. And so- Do we know if Miss Minnie was driving or was she a passenger? She was driving. Okay. And so uh, prayers to the family, prayers to her castmates um, and everyone over at the Lifetime Camp that's, you know, going through this loss right now. Yeah, it's, it's very sad, but I mean, her, her spirit lives on uh, through the TV show, obviously, and through her right. family. Um, and I will say just to kind of lighten the mood a little bit, my favorite, one of my favorite, favorite gifts is of her and Miss Juicy where they're sitting on the couch and Miss Juicy's like, girl, what the hell we gonna do now? <laughs> that one is cute. My favorite has to be the Bon Appetit. <laughs> she said Bon Appetit. <laughs> uh, bon Appetit, that's my favorite yes. one. I use it to this day. <laughs> so many, in so many different uh, situations. Yeah. So just prayers out to Miss Tammy. I know that it's going to be a really difficult, um, yeah. it's going to be a really difficult journey moving forward. I just couldn't imagine losing my yeah. daughter. And, um, but you know, moms, moms are strong. So you gotta be. Yeah. Speaking of moms, okay. And uh, Mother's Day is coming up. Mother's Day is coming up, honey. Don't you have a little, a uh, little, little something for us? Mother's Day is coming up, and you guys need to figure out what is going on. Do not use coronavirus as an excuse. Ain't no excuse. Figure it out. I did, um, and so let's look at some ideas for how you can celebrate your mom this Mother's Day. Check this out. Hey there, it's me, Trick Rashad. Now Mother's Day is coming up this weekend, but a number of businesses and restaurants are closed. Now you might be thinking, what am I going to do for my mom? Well, don't worry, cold pop is to the rescue. Now what we have here are an array of items that are pretty much a staple for any Mother's Day holiday. You got your gift card, your coffee mug, your greeting card. I mean, what mom doesn't like a greeting card, am I right? Now, any of these would work, whether your mom's near or far, picky or extremely picky, as mine is. Uh, but what we're gonna showcase today is a new idea that's gonna be a sure win for you and your mom this Sunday. 
Now, I'm sure you've heard of the FabFitFun box, the Birch box. I mean, these bundle boxes are all the rage now. And what better way to show your mom that you care by making her one of her very own? So that's what we have here. We're actually gonna put all of these together into one box and ship it to mom this Sunday. All right, well, let's get started. Now, in order to do this well, you're gonna to have to do a little research. Find out what your mom likes. What's her favorite food? What's her favorite drink? What kind of things is she into? The more personalized, the better. And there you have it. Done and done. Happy Mother's Day. Okay, I see your little hodgepodge items. You, First you off, I'm gonna stop with this hodgepodge, honey. <laughs> this was Martha Stewart. This level. hodgepodge, come on. You, what did you have in there? You had a gift card, come coffee on. mug, uh, uh, a greeting card, and what I else? I to help her out because, you know, moms, are, moms can be extremely picky. At least I know my mom can be. Uh -huh. So like, I like to get her things that I know that she's going to like. And so, as I talked about, research is really important. Figure out how to make it special this sun, this uh, upcoming Sunday, just because you might not be able to be with her physically, um, or might not be able to do what you always do, which is like taking them out to eat or whatever. Figure mm -hmm. out how to make it special. Yeah, We covered a lot of ground today. We did. And so, we definitely want to do more of these. We hope that all of you like these as well. Uh, please let us know what you thought in the comments. Make sure you like and subscribe to our YouTube channel at Cold Pop Show on YouTube. Um, we'll be posting a lot of great content on there from the Quarantine Chronicles to even some standalone segments that we've filmed. So just be on the lookout for so much more content coming from us. Well, that's all from us. Uh, until next, well, first, follow us on the socials. You can follow me at Trenton Rashad on Instagram and at Trenton RD on Twitter. And you can follow me, Marcus Drew Steele, with an E on the end on all socials, Instagram and Twitter. Um, and then again, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. We will have more episodes of our Quarantine Chronicles. We're not quite sure if we're gonna do a weekly or a bi-weekly, but just be on the lookout because we have a lot more other content that we're gonna be releasing as well. For sure. Until next time, guys. Okay. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Happy Cinco de Mayo. Eee!